Now, you were a defensive specialist. That's what they tell me. Did, did you ever actually score a point in the college level? Yeah, a couple. Okay. A couple. So, I mean, you were good <laughs> at defense, but also you could score. You could score a little bit. You know, uh, you know, I talk about, like my son, for example, it's, it's about winning. Yeah. And I could have averaged, you know, 20 points. Yeah. Uh, and probably still would have won. Yeah. But when you see what's around you, just like any other business you're in, when you see other tools that are around you that, that can help you get to your goal, then you try to pull from everybody and get the best out of them all. Well, my thing was to be, I was a playmaker. Move what, the basketball. Two, what amazes me is that um, you were a guy yeah, who you, you, your team could win, and you you were your, your team, team won. You didn't. Have, how many points did you average in college, roughly? Oh, 11, maybe. You're averaging 11 points a game. But the reason why I'm mentioning this for the Thrivers is that you, at 11 points a game, you were still good enough. And your team still won enough that you got drafted. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going back to my memory here. I have a very good memory. But I was two. I remember anything before five. I remember it like every day, just bam. But you were, you were drafted, I think, 20th overall by the Milwaukee Bucks. 21st. 21st by the, the fact-checking department here. Just really just what's going on. It could be now. Yeah. I could be wrong. Yeah, so you were drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks. And uh, what was that feeling like getting drafted in the NBA? I had no... I had no clue. I mean, really, it, it just totally shocked my head. You know how guys talk about today, oh, I just dreamed that I could be in the NBA. and I, I, It wasn't me. I was about, my next move was to coach. 